All right, the butterfly exhibit is getting ready to open up at the ABQ Biopark. It features hundreds of butterflies, all shapes, sizes, and colors. And here with us this morning is Dr. Ralph Charlton, curator of invertebrates at the Biopark. Thanks, Dr. Ralph, for coming in. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. This is great. I love going to the butterfly exhibit every summer. I take my son. Uh, we, we spent a good 45 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. in the pavilion. It's awesome. You brought some things in with you, obviously okay. some butterflies. Yep. Let's start here. This All is right. interesting. What are we looking at here? Uh, these are actually the chrysalid stage or the pupil stage of the butterflies. And well, we, uh, always, we always refer to them. The common folk refers to them <laughs> as cocoons, but they're not... They're like cocoons, but they're not cocoons, correct? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's too complicated to even describe. To even explain. But, okay. <laughs> but so they're uh, like cocoons, but they're called what? Uh, chrysalids. Or chrysalids. chrysalids. Yeah. And so what's happening here? Uh, basically, this is the stage between the caterpillar and the adult. And so uh, they have to completely transform from all the caterpillar characteristics mm -hmm. into the beautiful butterflies that they become. Uh, I. It's so interesting how they're just different shapes, different colors. Some yes. of these guys, if you look close, yeah. uh, some of these look like jewels. Yep. Um, this is a monarch. What I'm uh, holding right now yeah, in my monarch hand. monarch chrysalid. I don't know if you can take a look at this, Josh, here. Uh, this is beautiful, and it has, some of them are giving off uh, like, a, uh, what, like a gold flicker. You see that? Yeah, and that's, uh, people often wonder about that because uh, what it actually does is mimics like a raindrop, uh, you know, how you get like a prism effect uh, on a raindrop. And so these, wow. this stage has to, they have no defenses. They can, they can move a little bit. They can wriggle, uh, as so, you've probably yeah, seen. So some of these will wiggle. <laughs> they will wiggle, uh, but that's kind of their last resort. Sure. <laughs> because. Uh, so we need to be gentle, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not harming them right not now that we're touching them, not but we just need to be gentle. No. Um, interesting. So there's a butterfly forming in here. Yep. They completely transform it. Basically, this stage, they first liquefy almost, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they reorganize all, everything inside to, to form the wings and stuff, mm -hmm. which, of course, caterpillars don't have uh, legs and, and so on. Now, um, now, let's talk about the exhibit. And um, obviously, you guys, we, we have butterflies, all sorts of different species. Are there some groups that are, are more prominent than other or prevalent? Than uh, other here? It, around here, uh, probably the butterflies you see the most are the little white cabbage butterflies. Uh, the but white we, ones, yeah. Yeah, but if you go up the, into the mountains and, and down here, we have a rich variety of butterflies that are indigenous to the area. All and, sorts uh, of shapes and sizes. All you shapes and some sizes. Examples. I brought some adults, uh, and most of these are ones that you would find around here. Uh, oh, man, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have to hold on to them uh, so they don't fly away. Sure. Uh, and so these are adult butterflies. These are adult butterflies. Uh, it's a little tough to hold them, but uh, this one is called a Julia. Even... Uh, oh I'm not gosh. even going to let her go. Yeah, no, no, but no, no, no. Uh, this one's a Julia, which is kind of a stray in this area, but uh, mm -hmm. it is found. Um, so they get, they get brought here. They get shipped yeah. to the ABQ Biopark? Right. We actually get these. Uh, this is the easiest uh, stage to ship them in. So sure. we get them from farms, mostly in the southeast and in Texas. Uh, they send them up here, then we have to glue them uh, individually to these uh, to these little strings. Sure, and, then, and this uh, is in a glass case where you can walk by right. and see them. Now, if you've never been, you gotta go. Uh, starting today, the exhibit opens, and you're basically walking inside this huge pavilion, mm -hmm. and butterflies are just floating all over you. That's out right. In the open. Yeah, in and close. we have a lot of butterflies. Uh, it's a it's a really fun experience. Okay, Very it's popular open daily exhibit. from it's 9 open to daily. 5? Uh, it's from 9 to 6, actually, from, oh. from this weekend all, awesome. all the way through Labor Day. Uh, and this is part of the uh, Botanic Gardens. So that's right. Once it's, you, it's included in your, your admission once right. you pay for your There's ticket. There's no extra charge. Uh, it's a fantastic deal. Uh, and people have been clamoring for it. You know, they start uh, wanting to come in in January, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's my hand that's shaking or if it could uh, be... It's, could it be jumping around? It's, uh, yeah, they're, they're moving around. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Ralph, thanks so much for coming well, in you. and bringing these uh, uh, butterflies in. Uh, thank you so much. For more Appreciate information, it. go to casa.com. Click on the Casa Club. Cl blog, that is. We'll be right back.